going on in the world. I think um, this whole like anti-Trump shit is continuing. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, also, there was a shooting in Quebec, and, like, they, it was an attack on Muslims, you know, apparently. Um, honestly, if you look at the media, like, who labeled Muslims as bad in the first place, okay? Trump didn't. The media did, by putting the idea of ISIS and throwing fear down your throat. So, really, the media is what made Muslims look bad, not Trump, okay? And now, the media is trying to make... Christians look bad. Um, it's clear that the media just hates any sort of spirituality, and they just hate people, okay? They just want, they want people to hate each other, okay? Um, personally, I am a Christian. Um, I don't believe in Islam, okay? But I do not judge those that do believe in Islam, and I do not, um, act you know, I mean, I don't act upon that, and I don't judge them because of that, you know. If they're good people, then they're good people. I think there's bad Christians, just like how I think there's bad Muslims. It isn't like that. But to label an entire religion, um, you know, I don't know. Not label religion, but the media is what did that in the first place, not Trump. Let's remember that, people. Um, so, anyways, how do I start this? Um... I, you just have to put faith in Jesus Christ, you know, and the Lord, you know, thy God. And like Moses and all the prophets, you know. Um, particularly, I don't really believe in Muhammad. And I can say why. I mean, Muhammad said he was the last of the prophets, but Jesus clearly said that he would return. So when you say that there is going, you say that you were working through God, but you cannot, you know say that Jesus isn't going to return and you're the, you're the last of the prophets um despite of what your beliefs are because if we do not if we believe that Muhammad was the last prophet like we are screwed you know it's it's kind of like there's no one coming to save us then um that's why I don't but like I said I have nothing against people that believe in Islam um you know it's nothing against them it's that but like you know I I recognize that like you know, Jesus was kind of the way. And, you know, when you get deeper into it, it's all about, like, discarding the falsities of this world, okay? What you know is true in your heart, you know? And, you know, Hollywood. Hollywood is a falsity. Acting is a falsity, you know? Like, you can't be false. It's all fake. It's not real. Our reality is when you grow tomatoes in your garden, it grows from a seed, and you consume it, and you eat it, and you love life, and you gain wisdom from, you know, working the soil, letting it grow, and then continuing life. Like, that is that is real life, okay? Your food you eat, you know, everything you consume. And, like, that is why we break bread, you know, because um, it's the reminder that, like, God takes in and, nour and nourishes that is good and disposes that that is bad, you know? And that's, like, the idea of collecting human souls in that sense, you know what I mean? Um, but you look at, like, the Satanists in this world, like, they claim they are so corrupted, it is ridiculous, okay, um, it's absurd, like, just, and look at our society, in th like, overwhelmed with entertainment, okay, fiction, overwhelmed with the fictional realm, okay, that is exactly what it is, like, so many people just sit on, um, Netflix. People, those aren't real people. That's not real life. It's not real. It's entertainment. Okay? And the thing is with entertainment, entertainment isn't really that good of a thing. Okay? Because, you know, being lazy isn't that great of a thing. <laughs> like, people say, oh, well, it's just entertainment. It's how we, you know, rest and how we spend our time. You should spend your time resting, like praising God in the sense that you don't praise the things that man creates, you know, you don't praise the things that come, you know, um, from the heart and out the mouth. It's things that enter the mouth and into the belly that are good, you know, and the things that defile you are the things that you imagine or the things that you make up, you know. Um, it's pretty clear that, the, like, falsity, again, to the falsity, you know, like, you should not pretend to be someone you aren't. You shouldn't, um, 
we shouldn't create, you know, fables in general. Like, I believe in parables, but fables are not good. Like, I don't believe fables are of God. Like, the idea of complete fantasy. Like, a parable is taking a real-life situation, you know? Like, I don't know. You could say, well, isn't God imagined? What's your proof of God? But it's like, the proof of God is the proof of, like, human life, you know? What do you say? Oh, I believe in science. I believe in the Big Bang. Okay, what created the Big Bang? What was bound to creation? And is the idea that something must have came first in order to create us, okay? And it's the idea of, well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? It's like, neither did. God came first. God came before the chicken and the egg. You know what I mean? So it's, and then you say, well, who created God? You know, like, what, what is that that came before that, you know? And all I can say is, is that it says how our God is the God of the living and not the God of the dead. So if that helps, it makes it interesting. But the thing is, is like, when it comes to religion, it shouldn't be broken down into Judaism, Christianity, or, um, or Islam. It's a faith in God. One God. One true God. Not multiple gods. And um, also you'll notice that someone who was preaching the word would have been someone who led their people to salvation and not desolation. And that is why I don't take Muhammad specifically as a prophet. You know? Because when, they, when he says that he was the last prophet and then jesus says that he's going to return like only one can be right only one can know have the true word so and i you know read both i took a class on islam actually and um i mean it's not like that hateful of a religion but i think that it takes away um from what is good like a christian would say that to be a shepherd and like literally being a shepherd like farming or you know working the soil growing something like it doesn't mean you have to be a shepherd obviously you need men of many crafts but like it means that you're contrib you're contributing with your body and through your labor and not through politics and power like um i'm not like a trump fanatic you know i do agree with a lot of trump's things i think he is trying to pull people in the right direction but at the same time, like, I don't see him as my savior, you know. It's just that um, I think he's a great man if he can succeed, you know, in bringing people together and, and not pulling them apart. But I think the media does much more damage than Trump does at this point, much more. Um, I mean, if you really look at it, it's like, you know, Satan casting out Satan, you know, it's not really about the top. It's the, the, the bottom controls the top in the end, you know, so it's really our duty to um, keep the world um, at bay and, you know, keep living. And that's what it is. It's like you can't worry about this stuff and try to take it in your own hands. You just have to work, you know, feed your belly, live life, grow old, grow wise, and just know what's real and what is not, and just know that everything that comes out of your television is not real, like, God is real, and the things of God are real, and uh, I get hate all the time on Steam It for posting stuff like this, or arguing with people about their points of view, you know, and their perspectives, but it's not really, like, you know, I mean, you have to have faith, you know, you have to have faith in, like, a good, a realm of goodness where there are good spirits in the sense that, you know, we all, the good men go to heaven and are rewarded, you know, not in this life, but they suffer in this life, so others do not suffer, and then they are rewarded in the next for their suffering, and actually they continue to suffer, and that, it is like a, I don't know, it's not suffering in a lot of ways because serving god feels good you know and um well i could talk all day about this but i'm gonna let it go peace